All right, so a little while ago, I kicked off this single-page Angular app that used Molten to build a storefront. And so I kind of wrapped that together. It's not beautiful, but all the key components are working. And so I kind of wanted to showcase this to you real quick. I also threw all the code up on GitHub. It's not necessarily all gorgeous code because I did it really pretty quickly. Um, but if you want to kind of get some ideas on how you could build an app, I'll kind of show you some things that I ended up doing. Um, over here in inventory, they have this cool thing called collections. So I made a collection. I added some products to my collection called homepage features. Um, and I think ideally what that does is then when you go to store, uh, these are kind of the featured items. These all exist in other categories, but you can add them also to this collection. I think ideally it all, I'd also create a collection called homepage slider, uh, which would have, you know, big images for all the truly featured items up there. Um, another thing I did is I added Stripe Checkout here under Advanced Gateways. I added Stripe, added my Stripe.com account, which is super easy to use. All you have to do is add your API key, which I just added at my API test key. Um, and then that's good to go. So Stripe is now kind of my default checkout system. Um, and let's kind of show you the rest of the store here. So I can go to this here killer iPad, add it to my cart. Um, I've kind of got this global cart icon here that keeps track of all the items that are in my cart. Let's go back to the store. Let's find some sale items. Uh, this test product is sale item. Let's go ahead and add that. Yeah, I think ideally I'd have a quantity thing here. Also a drop down for, you know, if there's sizes or colors, uh, but that's easy to add a little later. We can go to our checkout. Um, here's kind of my pretty janky little cart that I threw together, but everything is functioning. You know, it'd be nice to have some updating of quantities here and the ability to remove items. Let's go ahead and check out. Here's kind of our checkout. I went ahead and actually just copied and pasted all the fields from Molten's checkout, um, their Angular template they'd had going on. So that made it quick and easy. I'll put a link to their Angular template they have as well in the description. I'm just going to go ahead and send it all to one address, do autofill here. Okay, there you go. I threw in some dummy information. Autofill grabbed a few things, but you're not going to know where I live and you're not going to know my home phone. So um, there's my basic deal. I added a few shipping methods, or should I say I added one shipping method, which is free shipping. And then I can pay with my credit card, um, which is going to go through Stripe. Um, and then Stripe for testing has all these kind of credit cards that you can use. This one's always going to authorize. Um, and then you can have some different ones. You know, some of these will automatically fail. Some of these will give you a fail where the address doesn't match, yada, yada, yada. So we're just going to do that. And then any expiration date is going to pass with this credit card number. So date in year. So 12, 2017, sure. And five, five, five. So let's go ahead and pay. Now, if you look real quick at orders, I've already paid for it. Dang it. If you go to this before you pay, you're going to see that you have an unpaid order. Um, and then after the customer has paid, uh, then it's going to convert over to a paid order. And that's kind of nice. So that way you can kind of keep, you know, keep contact with customers who start an order. I don't know if you've ever gotten an email from a, from a company where you start an order and then you kind of abandon the process. You can get an email later that day or later that week that says, Hey, did you forget about your order here? So that's nice. You kind of get the idea, you get the ability to query by orders that have not been paid yet. And there we go. There's my paid order. And I got this really completely pointless little thank you for your order page. <laughs> and I could send off an email at that point or do whatever I wanted to do. But there's my kind of really quick storefront. All in all, it did not take very long to put together. And once again, the full source code is learncodeacademy slash molten dash angular. I'll get you that link and I'll also get you a link to Molten's Angular app that they kind of threw together with CoffeeScript. They probably put a little bit more tender loving care into it than I did. So check theirs out as well and have a great day and hope you enjoy using Molten.